How's it going, Mr. Bates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And I'm calling it now. This is going to be my first epilogue episode. The first, you know, like in, in fucking plays, you ever seen Shakespeare? When they got a prologue and a, a, when shall we three meet again in thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the battle is said and done, when the battle is lost and won. Here to meet with Macbeth, that's kind of how Macbeth starts. That's the prologue, not an epilogue. But still, you know how like... You know, it doesn't really count towards the episodes and shit, but it's still there because, hey, entertainment purposes. I thought I'd do one of these because this isn't going to be the story. This is after the credits. No real reason to do this, but I want to try and become a dual champion. I want to try and champion against all the other fucking houses and be the supreme student of Hogwarts. But I've actually got to get through the enemies first. Now... Previously, we accidentally went through one of the portraits, and, um, I don't know why I said portraits were weird there, that's just me trying to invent a new word. Um, and then we got to this Hufflepuff dueling turrets. I don't know if the other two portraits are going to work, but if this ends up being just a five minute video and I get to try one of the dueling turrets, well hey, great, great, cool, well I guess I got to experience that. And if you guys are really that desperate to see what else fucking happens in the other portraits, well beg me, beg me on your knees, and, and, and type in a you know, hundred comments or some shit. I'll do a hundred comments, why not? And then comment on my other videos and remind me, Hey, Mr. Chug, you promised us. You asshole. You beast. Alright, fine. But, pray tell, what do I do with the Hufflepuff dueling turrets? Right, yeah, it's Hufflepuff and it's a turret and we're dueling here. I feel like I'm on the Great Wall of China. So you have found me, the Hufflepuff wizard dueling champion. Okay, nice flowers, by the way. Come on, let's duel. Yeah, all right, bear in mind, you're a fucking Hufflepuff. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I summoned the Dark Magician. Fuck, he got me first. Oh, God. Yep, yeah, gotta love that commentator doing his job. I'm gonna fuck you up, Hufflepuff. Mate, you may have all... Oh, God. You're telling me I'm fucking struggling against this guy. Motherfucker. Things have really, really gay now. How am I not getting him? I've zapped him a million times! You fucker! Oh, I say, this guy's fucking gay. Fucking... No, oh, no you don't. I've got my plants to hide behind. You can't get me with these plants in the way. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah! No! Oh, that's very lovely. Very lovely death I'm having right now. Eat! Fucker, this guy's good! Ah! Yeah, eat that shit. Yeah, I'm healing. Fuck. Oh my god, this is really hard. I'm trying to comment, but I can't. Come on. How is he still alive? How are we both still alive? Damn, I've got his plant again. No. Eat! Fuck you! Oh, that's no, it really isn't. It really is fucking annoying. Oh, oh. Yeah! Fuck you, bitch! Now you're going to be my slave! Okay, calm down, Mr. Charles. I didn't deserve to win that, though, because, dear God, he eliminated me. Right, yep, yeah, please die. Is it? Is it really? Oh. Well, we haven't seen a duel before. I mean, it's, it's just a matter of pointing your wand as hard as you can. Eat! Yep, now you're dying. I've got to try and get these plants, because then I can actually, like, get some good shit out. Yep, good. Yep, you can try. Yep. Okay, I can get a speed ball. Speed ball! Yep, that hurt him. Alright, I'm actually getting a hand of this. The hang of this, sorry, now. Um, yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Okay. Yes! Okay, that didn't kill him. Fuck! But that did! Wingardium Leviosa, fly off the turret! Or that, fine. Whoa, good shot. Yeah, I learned it with the spelly armors of all things. Wait, it exploded. You it. Cool! Well, I'm glad I slaughtered you and took your card from you. Alright! I feel like I prefer to humiliate someone else, though. I mean, Hufflepuff don't really feel like a, a real house. They exist, but you know, what do they do? If you read the lore and stuff, I'm sure you'll know. I know that Ravenclaw are the smart ones, Gryffindor are the brave gits, and Slytherin are just fucking evil. 
Uh, yeah, I know they're ambitious and stuff, but... Congratulations, young man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me assure you, beating the Hufflepuff dueling champion. I, I, I try, I try. Right, can these other fuckers also help? Wait a minute, is it all about having enough fucking cards? No! Oh! Well, I will not let you enter unless you bring me ten famous witches and wizard cards. They mentioned that. They mentioned that at the beginning. I forgot. I fucking forgot. Of course I forgot. Great. Well, this is going to be an extremely short Let's Play. But now I'm not going to know what's behind the locked room. And, oh. Oh. Look, I know I could probably buy a few cards off Ron, uh, off the Weasley. Wait, how many beans do I have? 258. Oh, uh, mm. well, I'd be able to get four cards, so I could get go against Ravenclaw, I guess. Still not able to get Slytherin though. That's a bit annoying. I genuinely did try looking for those cards. Though. I I promise, cross my heart, and hope to die, and all that. Don't know why I did a, a Catholic thing. Now I was going for a, a Sinbad. You know the the DreamWorks film, which was fucking amazing, it doesn't get enough praise because I don't know. I guess people are idiots. Yeah, I don't know. Right, hopefully these guys do have enough cards though, because if they run short at like nine, I'm gonna be pissed off. You have 15 yep. Minutes, give, give me. I don't care. Yep, he was foul, just like your mum. Yep, more. Brilliant. Yep, I know. Yeah, that's a name. Someone came up with that. Sorry, Harry, but if you want more famous witches and wizards cards, then you have to find them hidden around Hogwarts. But I don't know where any of them are. <sighs> I don't suppose there's some easy way of getting the cards in. Not that I'm that desperate, it's just... Uh... I would be nice to go against my own team, and then let them beat Harry Potter, and I could say Ravenclaw's the best team in the world. But, like, I wouldn't even know where they are. Yeah, sure, I can get the trophies. Wish I could trade the trophy in for a fucking... Card. Why? I mean, where was I meant to check? Like, really? All right, well, maybe they're somewhere, but like, you know, like, I, I tried getting the card. What did I even get? Did they even invent anything good, these guys? These boys and girls that I collected? Might as well check them out. Might even check my, my card record, seeing as I started off with that shit. Nice way to round off the epilogue. I mean, at least this thing's short like an epilogue, but I kind of wanted more out of this. Nature Wildsmith, the witch who invented flu powder. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Felix Summerby, inventor of cheering charms. All right, well, no one uses those, so I guess he's a failure. Greta Catchlove, author of Charm Your Own Cheese. Right, never heard of it, never read it, and I don't know why I need to do that to my cheese. I want to actually be able to eat it. Dorcas Wellbeloved. Founder of the Society for Distressed Witches. I bet his his mum and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Well Beloved, are very proud. Helga Hufflepuff. Oh, the originals. Co-founder gave her name to a Hogwarts house. Cool. Of all of the fucking four major ones I have, it's fucking Hufflepuff. Nothing against Hufflepuffs. It's just the only thing they contributed to the books was Cedric Diggory. Chauncey Aldridge. First known victim of dragon pox. Oh, yeah, well, first person to get ill. Well, that's a real achievement. Herpo the Fowl. First known creator of the Basilisk. Creator? What do he do? Like, create a charm to make snakes grow big? Alright. Well, you put me through a lot of fucking pain. Paracelsus. Greatest of all medieval alchemists. Alright, do you not have a last name? You know, the, the first name, surname, if you're lucky, a middle name. I've got two of those. No, just just Paracelsus. Alright, cool, good for you. Well, let's look at the report card as well whilst I'm at it, whilst I'm here. So obviously Quidditch, I owned everything and everyone. No surprise there. Um, I only got one wizard's duel and my herbology and defense against the dark arch wasn't even that good. Ah. Uh, I mean, to be fair, it was a miracle that I got an A in Herbology. But fucking then the game got hard and I couldn't press buttons correctly. Alright, fine. Good. Great. I'm done. That's fine. 
If you guys really do want me to do the duels, I can. I can collect the cards and then see what's beyond the room as like a little one-off special, but... No, honestly, it's kind of back there with Reshef of Destruction, uh, 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 Nightmare Troubadour. Yeah, I've still got that as an endgame thing to do. You know, the kind of games where I could do more if I wanted, but it's not really going to do much except kind of a, uh, catnip, getting all the kind of lore things done, but, you know, whatever. It's only a game. Next time, I hope to get to Prisoner of Azkaban, but I don't know if I'll do a Harry Potter game next or something else, only because, like... These PS1 Harry Potter games, they meant a lot to me. I really wanted to get through to these at some point in my life again. And now I've kind of beaten both the PS1 games when I had when I was like 10 years old. Like, still remembering the smell of the cartridges and everything. Like, not cut, you know, like the actual box cases made of plastic and the glass cover and all that. Like, there was a really weird nostalgic smell and the smell of the book cover. I'm being weird. I'm sorry. I kind of went back to 10-year-old me there. Um... But I always wanted to get back to these games, and I'm glad I did do that. I actually now remember Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets. Those distant memories of my brain have now lit up, and I'm very proud of that. Uh, but I don't know what I'm going to play next. I, I, I'm going to get to Prison of Azkaban eventually. But there's going to come a point where I'm going to need to go to a PS3 console, and I don't really have access to that right now because the, the PS3 emulators aren't that good. But anyway, if you want to play the game, see if you can become a Harry Potter expert, there'll be a link to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, look out for my book scrum, you chance, that's time. See ya!